Howdy guys, Glenn here, and today I'm debuting a new feature on the Middle Age Kid channel. It is Figure Friday. So this is where I'm going to review some individual figures, action figures, statues, things like that. Uh, they might be new, they might be uh, a figure from years past that I picked up on sale uh, that I thought were cool. So in addition to the subscription boxes, getting into individual figures now, um, that aren't Funko, basically. So today what I've got for you, it's a little bit of an older figure. This is from DC Direct. This is from the Blackest Night uh, series of figures. This is Series 6. This is Black Lantern Hawk Girl. So I don't particularly care for the figures that are in the clamshells, um, but that's pretty much every figure now, right? I, I do prefer things like... Uh, the Black Series, where it's more of a box, but um, this is a figure from about 2011, so it's pretty old, um, looking at six years old now, but there's, uh, I think, eight series in this Blackest Night series. This one is Hawk Girl. So um, this one I picked up uh, pretty much on the cheap. It was pretty inexpensive for one of these uh, full-size articulated figures. Um, it was probably, I think I got it for about nine bucks. I mean, pretty, pretty good deal. Um, and these were about 20 bucks back in the day. So here's a close up in the packaging. You can kind of see as it focuses there. Pretty good detail on this. I dig the wings. The wings look pretty much exactly like the Hawkman version, um, which is something I want to get so that I have both of these. Um, you can see she's got some accessories, sword. Um, but no mace, which is weird for Hawk Girl. Um, I would have liked to have seen that. Um, let's look at the back. Shows uh, a few of the other, uh, the other three in this particular series. Um, the dead shall rise throughout the decade. Death has plagued the DC universe and taken the lives of heroes and villains alike. But to one, what end? As the War of Light rages on, the prophecy of the Blackest Night depends, uh, sends upon us with Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern Corps, at the center of it all. So this is obviously back, back in the day, the Blackest Night, one of the really premier crossover events from DC um, back in 2010 or so. But a lot of things came out from that, including some really cool toys and figures. So uh, let's read up on Black Lantern Hot Girl. When Kendra Saunders, Hot Girl, is impaled from behind by a spear held by newly reanimated Black Lantern Sue Dibney, she declares her love for Carter Hall with her dying breath. After witnessing her death, he's enraged but useless against the force of Black Lantern elongated man. Hawkman too makes his own violent or meets his own violent end. With their hearts consumed by the Black Rings of Power, they're now united in death as they long to be in life, resurrected as two of the first members of the Dead Lantern Corps. So you can kind of see, also available, Series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, this is 6, and then coming soon, 7 and 8, so obviously those are out by now. Um, so very cool set of figures, lots of them in this particular series. Um, I'm not sure exactly the format that I want to do these individual figure reviews yet, but uh, in this case, we're going to take her out and check her out. All right, here's our... Black Lantern Hot Girl out of the package. Um, putting her together as far as the wings and I found that the sword was a little bit hard to deal with. I'm still surprised there's no mace. Um, I think of Hot Girl, I think of a mace, even Black Lantern Hot Girl. A couple of things here with this mold is I like, you know, these things are always articulated really well. Um, there's just so many different points including her head moves up and down, side to side. Um, I like the wings in, in that they're articulated as well, so you see how they are kind of in normal mode right now. You can tilt them all the way back, so they go straight back from her back there. That's kind of cool. That presents kind of a, an alternate look. It's kind of cool. And we put them back like that. The one thing with these wings is I've seen a couple other reviews and comments about these they're really delicate so they can snap coming out of the package so you have to be really careful if you're taking this one out um, the other thing about this is you know yeah it's on the standee which is nice but what irritates me about these is is them only doing one peg and one peg hole so you have to really kind of mess around with it if you're looking for displayable like she's kind of leaning back right now so you have to kind of 
try to take advantage of all of the articulation that she has in order to get her to stand decently. But she does, so it looks pretty good there. Um, see, she's kind of wobbling around, but again, that, that's the lack of stability. The way I've got her right now, she's kind of sticking her butt out there, which is kind of weird looking. She does have quite the rear end. Um, so, you know, it's just a matter of maybe get her stand up a little bit straight, but when you do that, she falls back. Um, so you have to kind of bend her legs a little bit so that she's a little bit more stable. Um, so, you know, I'm not big. I'm not a big fan of, of the way they... They don't make it easy on you as far as getting her displayable, um, as far as standing up without making her look kind of wonky. There we go, that's a little bit more stable, but again, put it back and she's sticking her butt out again. So, but other than that, I think as a figure, uh, it looks really good. Um, get a little dust on her there. Um, you know, I like the detail of the z zombification. I also like that that kind of hides the arm articulation a little bit. Um, when I was looking at her in the package, I was like, ooh, do the arms even move? But that's only because... Uh, the way they have the mold and the paint, you don't notice it right away. So another good shot of the back of her wings. And again, this is an older figure. You know, it's a it's a it's a pretty good looking action figure, um, and it's it makes a pretty good display. I definitely want to get the Hawkman as well to kind of make them a pair because I think this is a good looking figure. When I saw it, and I saw it was on sale. I picked it up as quick as I could. So uh, these videos are short. Just wanted to give you uh, something else to look at, something else for me to review. Um, I'll be doing these single figures from time to time on Fridays. Maybe not every Friday, but uh, I'm trying to uh, get some alternate, alternate stuff as far as uh, collectibles go other than Funko. And uh, one good thing is that some of these figures, not this one because I got it on sale, but some of the higher priced figures that I get are going to be eligible for patrons to pick as their monthly reward. So if a patron, if you don't want a box, you can pick up one of these figures from me and I'll send it to you instead of the box. So, um, But again, roughly the figures that I'm going to make eligible for that are going to be um, value-wise on par with uh, the subscription boxes. So... Uh, keep that in mind for patrons. Again, if you want to head over to Patreon um, and check things out, we've got um, four uh, four Mac uh, uh, partners already, and only 10 of those are available. So, um, again, my goal is to give away every box and every major figure that I review. So if you want in on that, uh, make sure you get in as one of those 10. So uh, other than that, uh, we have the smaller the smaller patron levels as well. There's some cool stuff that are coming with that. Um, and I've got some new ideas for rewards and maybe even a different uh, patron level coming up soon. So, all right, enough about that. Hope you enjoyed this short little video. Um, I dig this uh, hot girl figure, this Black Lantern hot girl. Uh, hot, hot girl, she'll, uh, she'll definitely be going downstairs with my other bigger display. And uh, that's about it. As always, check out... Uh, Check out our social media feeds over there. Um, if you hadn't hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that as well. Uh, leave a comment below on what you thought of this figure and uh, what you think, um, if you have any good ideas for uh, what I might do for future uh, Figure Fridays. Let me know that as well. Throw me a like. That always helps the channel. And uh, until next time, we will see you later. Bye-bye.